Hey, welcome to another episode of Andrew's Life. I hope everyone's buckled in good because this is going to be kind of a bumpy ride through the city of Haleyville, Alabama, which is located towards the northwest section of the state. It is an hour from the Florence Mutual Shores area in Winston. It's located in Winston and Marion County. And uh, for uh, violent crime, violent crime here is actually below national average. Uh, property crime, on the other hand, is almost double the national average. It is 94% above national average. Now, the good news about this city is housing prices are extremely affordable. And as the video progresses, you'll see a few reasons why. But if you want to live here, I mean, housing prices are extremely affordable. There's houses right now for sale that you can buy for as low as $50,000 in this city. If you're looking just to rent, however, medium rent prices are going from $580 to $1,040 a month. And the racial demographics here are going to be 87.9% white, 1.2% black, and 9.9% Hispanic. Now, a little bit of information about this city that some of you might find interesting. Uh, Haleyville, Alabama was incorporated on the, on the 28th of February of 1889. Now, before the city had its current name of Haleyville, it used to be named Davis Crossroads. The first 911 emergency telephone system in the United States went into service here. It went into service on February uh, 16th of 1968. Now, if I can recall, I believe there was another city that was trying to uh, claim that in Indiana. I think it was the video, I, I forgot what the name of the city was, but there is a city I did in Indiana about a couple of months or so ago that made that same claim if I can remember. But anyways, Haleyville citizens voted to become the first city in Winston County. Now on a side note, the majority of this city is located in Winston County. So yeah, Haley, Haleyville citizens voted to become the first city in Winston County on the 1st of June of 2010 to allow the sale of alcohol. Because apparently, if you're not a city, you're not allowed to sell alcohol. I mean, I, I don't know if that's the county law or if that's the state of Alabama law. Maybe somebody can sign off in the comment section. Now, as far as it, and you know, honestly, I think people in this city have better things to worry about than to go and buy alcohol, but whatever, to each his own. But anyways, as far as it goes for the athletic, I mean, apparently, uh, you do got some you do got some uh, teenagers here that are rather you know they're they're fairly good at their athletics you got some kids here that are active apparently because the team war and lines finished third in the state in the cross country in 2008, both the boys and the girls team. 
and in 2005 the Hillyville boys golf team qualified for the state championship and Yeah, they, yeah, they qualified for the state championship. And then the Hillyville Lions baseball team made the state finals twice in 2008 as well as 2009. Yeah, I meant to say in 2005, the Hillyville boys golf team qualified for the state championship and tournament. That's what I meant to say. So my apologies. Now the ladies softball team won a championship in their second year. As well as making the state tournament both in 2012 and 2013. Now, as you guys can probably see already, if you can't see it already, you will definitely see it later on in the video. I mean, this town does have a few rough areas. Now, at first, I did not know what to expect when I first came here. I had no idea. This was basically a, 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 a town, city, whatever you want to call it, that I just picked blindly off the state of Alabama map. <coughs> and I just came through just to see what it looked like. Now, in my humble opinion, I think this could be a, I mean, I'm not saying this is a bad place to live, but I will say the infrastructure here definitely can do with a little bit of improvement. I mean, some of the roads are very rough and you do got a few streets here that are in rough condition. There's some houses that are in very poor condition. Now the downtown, now granted this uh, city doesn't have a huge downtown, but the downtown area doesn't appear to be too bad. And you do got some amenities. I mean, you know, you got jacks. You got a couple of uh, places where you can go buy some groceries, knots and ends. So you got a few minutes here. And if you get bored here, you're only an hour away from the Russo Souls Florence area. And let's see. And, if, and just off the top of my head, I mean, I think you're about a, well, I can't think off the top of my head of how far you're going to be from Huntsville, you know, but I'll just say within, eh, I don't know, I, if, I mean, I could be wrong, but I'm going to guess that, and uh, matter of fact, let me look it up real quick. Oh, you know what? I forgot to tell you guys the population here. The population of Haleyville, Alabama is 4,343 people. And this city has been losing. This city has lost 5.9% of its population as of the 2020 census. Again, my apologies. 
typically that's the first thing I tell you guys when I start these videos, but I forgot, so there you go. And if you're looking to purchase a home here, the median home price is going to be $105,000. But as I told you earlier, there are houses for cheaper that you can purchase. So houses, housing prices here are very affordable. I already told you the crime. We've already went over the racial demographics. So let me look up something here real quick for you folks. So the closest metro area is going to be the Greater Huntsville, Alabama area. So from here, from Haleyville to Huntsville, Alabama, as I was guessing, but I just wanted it to be uh, accurate, you're an hour and 31 minutes away from Huntsville, so, you know, you're not too terribly far from a metro. I mean, a lot of the communities that are going to be a lot larger and offer you the entertainment, I mean, to some of you, those areas are not going to exactly be a hop, skip, and a jump away. I mean, you're going to be, you're, you're looking at at least an hour to an hour and a half. Yeah, I mean, look at that house. Uh, whoever used to own that house, I feel, I feel bad for that. I feel bad for that family. Looks like this area may have endured a little bit of storm damage. Just a tad bit. Yeah, that's tore up right there. Alright folks, I don't really have a whole lot in terms of the commentary here. So I'm gonna let you guys watch the remainder of this video. I mean Now I will say there's gonna be a part of the video. It's gonna be towards the middle of the video where I go down the street that is extremely rough. And my camera gets off center. So I'm going to apologize right now for the quality of that footage. But I was going down this one street. It was very rough. And I didn't even pay attention to my camera. Because I was so busy looking around. And, and just I was so busy looking at other stuff that I neglected to look at my camera. So when you get to that part of the video and the footage is real funky that's going to be the reason why and i'm going to apologize in advance for that however you'll still be able to get a glimpse of why i went down the street so when i go down that street you're going to look at what you're going to look at is basically a a you're going to look at a burnt down was well not burnt down you're going to look at a house that at some point has caught on fire. So that, but like I said, that's going to be towards the middle of the video here. But yeah, I would say this city, this town, whatever you want to call it. I mean, it's not the worst I've seen, but it's definitely it's definitely not the best. 
especially for the Northern Alabama region. I mean, you know, this town can definitely can definitely do with a little bit of a facelift slash just a little bit of improvement on their general infrastructure. But other than that, I mean, that's all I gotta say. I mean, I don't really got much to say about this town other than what I just said. So, all right, folks. I'm gonna holler at you all later. I'm gonna let you guys finish the rest of the video. You guys know what to do. So, I'll see you guys on the next video. I gotta go to bed, I'm tired.